first of all, I want to thank the organizers of this project for giving me the opportunity to introduce you with the results of many years' research on the famous Bells Hillfort, which located in the Northern Black Sea region. Should note that the words Hillfort we used as synonym as words Hillfort Settlement uh, Gorodice or Opedum. In my report, I would like to share with the results of the study of Greek ceramics, which was found at this settlement. I must say at once that the Bilsk settlement is located on the territory of modern Ukraine, where the largest river is the Dnipro. This river is the border of two areas, the right bank and the left bank. Currently about 545 settlements and about 50 hillforts of early Iron Age are known in this territory. And we can say that the Bilsk hillfort is an ordinary settlement of the early Iron Age. There are of such settlements. However, even at first glance, it has significant differences from the other monuments. First of all, its size. There is the largest settlement of all known in Europe of this period. So, where is the Bilsk city site located? It is located on the territory of the Dnipro Forest Steppe left bank, between two largest rivers the Voiskla and the Sohagrun, a tributary of the Pso. Both rivers flow into the Dnipro. The area of the settlement is 5,000 hectares. The length of the defense line is 35 kilometers. At present, the modern village of Bilsk, with the population of about 1,000 inhabitants, is located in the center of the settlement. So far, even ramparts and ditches have been well preserved. At a height of the shafts reaches 9 meters, and the depth of the ditches is 5 meters. They are visible even on the Google Maps. The settlement consists of three fortifications, Western or Zahidne, Eastern or Sidne, and Kuzemin, united by a common shaft, more than 35 kilometers long. At present, no other settlements with a similar structure are known. As a ruler, they consist of one fortification and have several rows and of ramparts and ditches. To the west of the settlements is a huge burial ground, consists of hundreds and maybe even thousands of burial mounds. Analogies of such phenomena are also practically unknown. As a ruler, if mounds are located near the settlement, then these are several dozen mounds. Their number is not measured in hundreds. The Bilsk Hillford is the only settlement that has existed for four centuries. It has been studied much better than the others. It identified with the city of Helon, described by the Greek historian Herodotus in the middle of the 5th century BC. For many years, archaeological excavation, more than 6,000 square meters, have been unearthed. Bilsk is a hillfort where various craft workshops, bright religious complexes, public buildings, temples are open, and a clear layout has been traced. There is no such scenes anywhere. The Bilsk Gorodisha is the only settlement of Sifia that management to establish trade exchange with the Greek policies as early as 7th century BC and maintain trade relations until 4th century BC. This monument is interesting because in its different parts lived tribes that different in cultural traditions belonging to the different ethnic groups. Today the Bilsk city site is the most informative monuments for studying all aspects of the life of the population of Europe. However, what is still remarkable about these monuments? Even now its size is amazing. For example, the area of only the western fortification is 95 hectares. For comparison, the area of Olbe is 50 hectares. Note that the main life proceeding of two of them, the western and eastern fortification.
The first archaeological excavation were carried out by Vasil Goretsov. For a month of work, he drew up a plan of the settlement, carried out excavation on nine edge hills, and explored an area of about 1,000 square meters, unearthed 21 barrels, made shaft cuts. In the second half of the 20s of early 21st century, the settlement was explored by Boris Grakov, Alam Rajenka, Petro Gavish, Alexander Supernienk, Denis Grechka. From the 1929 to 2006, a joint Ukrainian German archaeological expedition worked on the settlement. It can be noted that Renata Roli, an employer of Institute of Archaeology of the University of Hamburg was on the German side. The longest systematic and large-scale excavation at the settlement were carried out by Boris Shemko. He studied the settlement for 35 years. We can say with certainty that it was thanks to his excavation that the Bilsk Hillfort gained such fame. On the western fortification he explored defensive structures, separate edge hills, on the Bilsk necropolis, he unearthed 25 burial mounds. On the eastern fortification, he explored 50,000 square meters area. According to the results of his excavation, a book was written, Bilsk Settlement, the city of Gilon. Since 1987, the settlement was being studied by expedition led by Irina Shemko. Since 2005, I am uh, was been involved in the study of this settlement. During this time, nine ash hills embankment of the western fortification were explored. Eighteen mounds were excavated in the Skorobor necropolis. Several excavations were laid in unfortified settlements and were continued on the eastern fortification. At present, this settlement has the largest explored area on a Scythian monument in Eastern Europe, more than 60,000 square meters. Hundreds of archaeological complexes have been discovered here. Household pits, residential buildings, temples, various workshops, bronze casting, bone carving, iron making, pottery found here. Thousands of fragments of molded ceramics, intact vessels, iron, bronze, bone, clay items. Greek imports are also quite common. Gold items, glass beads, as well as fragments of pottery transport amphora and tableware. Currently, more than 7,000 fragments of Greek-made pottery have been found on the site. Most of them is a walls of transport amphoras. However, 870 fragments of rims and more than 300 foot were found. Tableware is represented by 375 fragments of vessels, found 38 intact vessels. For the first time, Greek ceramics began to arrive at the Bilsk settlement in the third quarter of the 7th century BC. Early examples found on the territory of the Western Fortification. The feature of the Western Fortification is the presence of ash mounds. An ash hills is a place where ashes have been dumped for a long time. In addition, household vast was thrown in the ash mound. Fragments of ceramics and sacrifices were made. The tradition of pouring ash hills is associated with the cult of the hares. Thanks to our many years excavation, it was possible to establish that the ash hills were formed over a long period of time as a result of intense life. A thick culture layer was deposited in the places of their formation, sometimes reaching a deep of one and a half meters from the level of the modern day surface. Such stratifications allow it us on the basis of stratigraphic observation to distinguish several layers corresponding to different horizons. 
Each layer or horizon was formed over the certain period. We have in defined four main horizons. Each of them is characterized by the certain material culture, house building, traditional, religious, ideas, and even features of trade relations with the Greeks can be traced. For the first period, Bilsk I, the second half of the 8th to the first half of the 7th century BC, at this time the first settlers come from the territory of the Red Bank of the Dnieper and establish a settlement on the territory of the Western Fortification. At the first, it was not fortified settlement, period Bilsk II the middle of the 7th until the second quarter of the 6th century BC. At this time, the boundaries of the settlement increased significantly. This is the time of the first contacts of the local population with Greek centers. On the eastern fortification, these horizons are absent. Bilsk period 3, second half of the 6th to the first half of the 5th century BC. The heyday of the Bilsk settlement. At this time, the border of the settlement expanded significantly. New settlements appeared and one of the caps on the right bank of the Warskla River. The eastern fortification was also populated. At this time, the defense structure of the western and eastern fortification appeared, which are an unit by the one shaft. Forable geographical position established trade relations with the Greek policies, as well as Development craft contributed to the gradual development of the settlements of farmers and artisans into the large urban center. Bilsk period 4, second half, 5th to 4th century BC. Life at this time is concentrated with the eastern fortification and its environs. It became a ma major economic, political, and commercial center of the forest steppe Thyphia, well known to the steppe tribes and ancient Greeks. The earliest contained amphora in the settlement were found only in the western fortification, and they appear in the third quarter of the 7th century BC. It's 252 fragments of Greek wine amphoras. The first place is occupied by the Clozomanian transport amphora of the Kolomak type, 68%. In terms of quantity, 15% amphoras of Lesbos production. In the second place, vessels have grey glay. It has been established that tableware of the archaic period from the Bilsk Hillfort belongs to the production of Eastern Greek centers. The tableware of this period is represented by only six types of fins, closed forms, oinochoris, amphora, and open forms, calyx, bowls, plates, and dishes, which were used only for the feast. We taken into the account 48 fragments of vessels from the second half of the 6th, 7th to first half of the 6th century BC. Early types of source Eone archaic tableware include fragments of Oinochoe from the Ash Hill 5, 10 and 13 in Western Bilsk. They belong to the final stage of the Middle Wild Goat 1 style, or to the end of the period Sosionian Archaische 1b, to the beginning of the Sia 1c. It's 630 to 620 BC. On the fragments there are characterized images of wild gods, dogs combined with an or ornamental belt in the form of loop patterns with filling elements, swastikas, rhombuses, half rounded, handing triangles, rosettes. A significant number of spicements are fragments of Oinohoe made in style of Middle Wild War II or period Sia 1C. 
North Ionian imports are represented by closed vessels, oinochoes, table amphoras and open vessels, kilix, dishes, plates. Plates and dishes are decorated with rays and concentrated circles. From the Ash Hill 5 on the western fortification there are two fragments of bowls rare for the fourth step, with the image of a bird hand in tringles, outlines, rhombuses, limited by vertical rays. In our opinion, they should be attributed to 615 BC. In the first half of the 6th century, to the majority represented by North Ionian imports, it is represented by closed vessels, oinochoes, table amphoras, and open vessels, kilix, dishes, plates, plates and dishes decorated with rays and concentrated circles. Fragments of table vessels depicted gods with an elongated body and attributed to the middle wild god II style or Seer 1D period. As a rule, such fragments belong to the first half of the 6th century BC. There are also known fins of Kilix of Ionian production. In the burial ground scorabir, a dish with a meander image along the edge of northern Ionian production was found. The South Ionian ceramics of Fikilura style are singled as separately. Images of rays have been preserved on the fragments. Fragments of the wall of closed vessels with lunar ornaments, which was discovered during the study of the Ash Hills Mount 10 can be considered a rare find. Thus, at present, to do the excavation at the Bilsk settlement, we have fragments that are represented by different styles, different forms, and we have a complete chronological column from the middle of the 7th until to the middle 6th century BC. At the end of the 7th beginning to the 6th century BC, the range of contained amphora is expanding. Wine also contains to flow in transport amphora from Cosmanians and Lesbos. At this time, vessels produced in Miletus and Hios appear. From the first half of the 6th century BC, red clay vessels of the Lesbian production appear on the settlements. Amphoras of summers are rare. Here we can see the percentage ratio of contained ceramics of the second half of the 7th to the first half of the 6th century BC. Clasomenian and Terce transport amphora is 56%. Milesian amphora is 11%. It should be noted that the Milesian amphora appear on the settlement only from the end of the 7th to beginning of the 6th century BC. Grey clay Lesbos amphora is 9%. Red clay Lesbian amphora is 6%. Arctic amphora or Arabrosa type is 3% and others. We can confidently say that the first contacts of the inhabitants of the Bilsk Hillfort with the Greeks were established in the third quarter of the 7th century BC and gradually developed into permanent and well-established trade and exchange relations. At the same time, it is important to note the fact that in previous chronological horizon objects of Greek imports were not found, which in includes the existence of pre-colonization trade exchange on the Gorodische. In the second half of the 7th, first quarter of the 6th century BC, the trade exchange of the population of the Bilsk settlement was carried out only with Greek settlement on the island Berizan. This is evidenced by the fins of Greek ceramics at intermediate points, Motorina Hilford, Jabotin settlement, Baltishka Beru, and settlements on the branches of this road, Trachtimir of Hilford, in the likely direction to Bilsk. At the same time, their absence is noticeable 
on other roads on Warsaw, for example, from the Taganrog settlement, as well as long the Siviaski, Donetsk, and Don. In our opinion, the land road is served as the main way to deliver goods to the forest step. The subject of trade exchange was tableware only from certain centers of production, southern and northern Ionia, and contained ceramics from almost all centers that come to the northern Plexi region, Hios, Kosomene, Miletus, Lesbos. It should be noted in that in the second half of the seventh to the first half of the sixth century BC, the main point on the left bank of the Dnieper, where Greek imports came, was Bilsk, which emphasizes a special important among other settlements of that time. Further to the east and north, Greek imports of this time are not known, with exception of burial complexes in which amphora could have come as a result of trade already with the Bilsk settlement. Starting from the second quarter of the 6th century BC, Olbia occupies a leading place in trade and exchange processing. In the third quarter of the 6th century BC, the situation in the Bilsk settlement is changing. Another settlement appears on the side of the eastern fortification. A number of unfortified settlements appear inside the fortification. Life on the western fortification continued until the middle of the 5th century BC. Thus, at the end of the 6th to the first half of the 5th century BC, the time of existence of a single complex of the Bilsk Hill Fort united by one rampart 35 km long. It has been established that starting from the 6th century BC, the volume of Greek imports to the settlement is gradually increasing. In the middle of the 6th to 5th century BC, Bilsk continued to receive amphoras with the wine of Hios, Kozomen, and Lesbos. By the beginning of the 5th century BC, the number of grey clay amphoras decreased significantly, but the supply of red clay amphoras increasing, which continued until to the middle of the 5th century BC. The arrival of Milesian and Attic amphoras agora of type 1502 or Labrosa type will be completed in the 3rd quarter of the 6th century BC. During this period, the middle of the 6th to 5th century BC, products from the new centers appeared, up there, or so-called proto sassian amphoras, Mende and Sassos. The first were important for almost a century from the middle of the 6th century BC to the second quarter of the 5th century BC. In the layers of the third quarter of the 5th century, they no longer meet. Starting from the end of the 6th century, the settlement and its surrounding receive imports from Sassos until the middle of the end of 5th century BC. It occupies a major position in the market. From the middle of the 6th century, tableware produced by Attica appears on the market. In the second half of the century, this center occupies the main position. Tableware from Attica has been found in almost all settlements in the, of the Bilsk Hillfort, and it's represented by Kilix, Morelli Bowls or Siphos, table amphras, jugs, orbs, black glazed clubs, all well as fragments of four craters found in Ash Hill 5 on the western fortification. The localization of these fragments within one Ash Hill suggests that the estate of rather wealthy family was located here. Fragments on Confaros found in excavation of the eastern fortification. One of them belongs to St. Valentine Painter. Tableware from Hios is represented by fragments of Olpes, which were found in the western and eastern fortification, and its settlement Tsatarina Magila, starting from the middle of the 6th century BC. Ionian production includes a small amount 
of Greek tableware. It is represented by fragments of Kilix, Jax, Lekifas, and Amphora. Fragments of table Amphora decorated with stri stripes of brown or red lake were found on the western fortification. Only from the eastern fortification, fragments of Quasimanian table Amphora. Fragments of Laconian, Kilix, and Corinthian Cephas come from. Practical at all settlements as well is Mount 1 of Pea burial ground, fragments of grey clay table vessels, jugs, oinochoes bowls of Albion productions were found. Such utensils first appear of settlements in the second half of the 6th century BC. The distribution of Greek ceramics by layers and complexes based on the data of stratigraphy and settle of settlements and analysis of ancient material from culture, horizons and related complexes as well as mapping of fins and framework from for the receipt of products in contained amphora of some products centers has been specified. Here you can see the diagram of a distribution of transport amphoras by centers in the second half of the 6th to the 1st half 5th century BC in the Bilsk settlement. Plasmanian amphora is 23%, Protostasion 21%, Chain amphora 22%, Lesbian amphora 15%, Sassian Amphora 11%, Amphora of Mende 3% and others. Greek ceramics of the last quarter of the 5th to 4th century BC, which refers to the last period of the existence of the Gorodicea. This pottery is represented only by fins from the excavation of the eastern fortification, Burial Mounds. It should be emphasized that the largest collection of Greek ceramics of the 4th century BC comes from the Bilsk Hillfort, known in the expansions of the forest tepe. An assortment of ceramic containers that come to the forest tepe, including Bilsk at the end of the 5th to the beginning of the 4th century's basic changes. New export center appear, Heraclea, Cnidus, Sinope, Papered, Coarse Rhodes. Import of heroes by the beginning of the 4th century BC gradually fading away in the layers and represented by the single copies. Unlike some other centers, Sassian and Mende wines continue to arrive at the city during this period. So the vessels of the second half of the 5th to the beginning of the 4th century make up 15 and 16 percent of all contained ceramics. In the 4th century the number of Sassian and Mende Amphora is significantly reduced to 4 percent. Among all contained vessels of the 4th century BC, the market centers found on the settlements are dominated by Heraclean Amphora, 18% of all contained ceramics of 4th century BC. Several branded specimens were found, quite a few fragments of Nidian or Soloha one with a mushroom shape rim is 13% and Piperetian Soloha two Amphoras 8% have been founded. In other areas of the forest tepe, the later are quite rare. Only one vessel, one found on the Sirius Kidonets, and amphora from the center are also rare on the Red Bank. Meanwhile, such amphora are quite often found in the steppe Scythian burial mounds, including in the Little Royal. Amphora of Samos 4% were found only in Bilsk and on the right bank of the Dnipro. Vessels of Sinop production come from Bilsk. Amphora of course and Rhodes, both in Bilsk and in the forest tepe are known from single fins. A significant percent, 40, of all ceramics of the 4th century BC are amphoras from various identified centers.
It is established that in the 4th century BC almost all types of ceramics known in steppe and forest steppe are represented on the Bilsk settlement. Several groups are distinguished among them. The first includes vessels for drinking, Ansfaros, Sifos, Kilix. They are number one in quantity. Only one complete cup Ansfaros was found in a rich double burial of Beros Necropolis B, with the great fortification of the Bilsk Hillfort. Another group includes vessels that are almost indificate in shape, bowls, cups, salt cellar. Some of them could be used for drinking. As Elena Fialka, among all tableware, these forms that were used for the feast prevail, while other remains rare. The third group consists of one type of vessels distinguished for mixing wine with water, craters. Interestingly, among all the settlements in this forest steppe, they are known only in Bilsk. This type of units may be, have been used in social elite, which were represented by horses warriors in the settlement. The fourth group including toilet vessels for aromatic oils, the kifas, which are founded only in burials. The fifth group including vessels for washing is mortal. This type of ancient pottery, rare for forest steppe monuments, is known so far only in Bilsk settlement and in the Scythian Mogila Mount near the Motorina Hillfort in the Dnieper right bank. The sixth group is represented by only one fiend, is a plate. Uh, it's a so-called fish plate. The importance and uniqueness of this find is emphasized by the fact that this type of dish is purely Greek culture element, not typical for culture of the barbarian world. This is the attic red figure Cephas Q painted was found in one of the mounds of Bilsk necropolises. This is a diagram of the distribution of Greek tableware from the end of 5th to the end of the 4th century BC in the Bilsk settlement. The mug is 3% Kilix, 3% Cephas, 14%, Confaris 19%, Cup Confaris 8%, and others. With very well established in the 4th century BC trade relation with the ancient cities of the northern Black Sea region, Greek dishes were quite expensive and were distributed among the wealthy part of the population, remaining a luxury item, prestige and an indicator of the high social status of the owner. It was not available for the general public. This is the evidence by the materials of the excavation of eastern fortification and burial grounds of the Bilsk settlements. The grave gods of the time include prestigious Greek tableware, the kifas, which when the deceased was bu buried, was usually placed instead of molded vessels. At the same time, we note the trade relation between the Hellens and the barbarian tribes of the Scythian time. First of all, we were penalized and had an exchanged character. During the entire period of research, Eight Greek coins produced by Olbia, Panticope, and Hesonesus were found at the Bilsk city site. In our opinion, the fins of the Greek coins, lamps, a fish plate, and measuring ruler testify to the possibility of the short stay of Helen's most likely merchants in the Bilsk settlement. Thus, thanks to the study of Greek ceramics of the Bilsk settlement, it has been established that Greek ceramics arrived at the settlement throughout of the entire Scythian period, from the second half of the 7th to the end of the 4th century BC. At present, this is the only one settlement in the northern Black Sea region where such a situation has been recorded. The assortment of 
ancient Greek imports of the Greek eastern fortification and the burial complex of the Bilsk settlement suggest that the trade routes for the supplies of gods have been changed since of early Scythian time. This is confirmed by the predominance of Albion imports from the 4th century BC, with a small amount of imports from Bosporus. At the time, the delivery of gods was carried out by the least three trade routes, which were established in the previous period. Probably the inter importance of Moravsky Schlag which passed along the watershed of the Dnipro and Don is increasing. This road brought gods from the Bosporian kingdom and Hersanes to the forest steppe, to the settlements of the Siversky Donets, as well as to the Bilsk Hillford, basin of the Vorskla River. Thus, we can make some conclusions from the Bilsk Hillford. This settlement, which appeared in the second half of the 8th century BC, existed throughout the Scythian epoch from 7th to 4th century BC. The population was engaged in agriculture and cattle breeding, mastered various crafts, had complex ideological ideas. Already in the early period of its history, the settlement turned out to be the, at the center of important trade and cultural contacts with sedentary tribes of Europe, nomads and Greek centers. New inno innovate ideas important from the countries of ancient East and Europe come here. The local social elite was close to the Scythian aristocracy, enjoyed prestigious things, expensive imported gods, perhaps even related with the nomads. At the beginning of the 5th century BC, the ancient settlements has a regular layout, handicraft, quarters, public buildings, and a huge necropolis. The largest handicraft center on which various workshops are found, iron production, bronze casting, pottery, bone carving. This is the only one settlement in Eastern Europe where a complete set of iron tools where various industries have been found. The smiths of ancient settlements in the 5th century BC produced about 50 types of products. A large trade center. Trade relations were carried out throughout Ossifian periods from 7th to 4th century in different directions, both with the east and west and Greek cities of the northern Black Sea region. The settlement was well known to the Greeks. Albia remained the main trading partner for almost three centuries, finding of objects with which were used only by ethnic Greeks. Plate, uh, so-called fish plate, eunuch lamps, Greek lamps, allow us to assume a direct visit to the city of Greek merchants. It was the largest religious center on which public temples were built to different deities. Based on the materials of the excavation, it was possible that the different layers of the population lived on the settlement. The top of the society was horse warriors. As a result of gradual development, the settlements were turned into major political center of the tribal union. The centralized management allows to maintain in order defensive structures, if necessary to organize timely protection of the population. All these facts allow us to say that the Bilsk Hillfort is the city of Gilon, about Greek historian Herodotus was wrote. Today we cannot offer another equal in scale of the settlement of the role of Gerardotus Gilon. Not all his secrets have been revealed. Every year we all presented with a new portion without ex exoneration of unique fins. It should be noted that the largest collection of Bill's Kilford from the excavation are now stored in the Museum of Archaeology, Karaz and Kharkov National University. And one of the showcases is dedicated to the study of Bilsk settlement. 
Here you can find all the best artifacts which have been found in the ancient settlements. Thus, at present time, we know many settlements of the Scythian epoch in Europe, but among them, Bitsk is unique. It stands out not only great size, but also many real materials, which gave an idea of the most diverse aspects of the life and activities of local population. In many cases, unique of varied findings indicate a high level of household development, extensive trade and cultural relationship between the local residents, not only with the tribes of Europe, but also from the overseas countries. The ancient settlement data gave the urban type settlement with an advanced craft and trade. Currently, there are good reasons to make the identification of the ancient settlement with Gilon city described in the fourth book of history by Herodotus. Thank you for attention.